Okay, welcome you guys to my new tutorial about the cubic equation. This is a very interesting but uh, also very hard and tedious way that we will walk on and you will learn a lot more about algebra and you will see something that is not always shown in school, okay? But just lo let's have a look at what is our problem, okay? Um, I, I call this chapter the old beginning because if you already did um, watch my videos on the quadratic equation this should be very familiar to you what we are going to do so first of all we have written down the the polynomial here it's a3 x cubed plus a2 x squared plus a1 x to the 1 plus a zero and you ha can imagine here an x to the zero equals zero okay x to the zero here in the end but that's actually not very important but now the old beginning how did we start in the quadratic case do you remember yes uh, we started off with a normalization which is actually just dividing with the leading coefficient we will do that and we have to assume or better state that a3 is not equal to 0. I didn't write this down because it's um, self-explanatory that this should be the case. Well, let's have a look. If we divide this by um, a3, in the first place we get a 1. Here we get something that I call alpha 2, which is just alpha a3, a2 divided with a3 and this is actually a1 divided a3 will give you alpha 1 and alpha 0 is a0 divided a3 okay this is here written down you can see this now what can we do with that remember what was the second step it I called it the reduction uh, for the quadratic case it was aka so also known as uh, completing the square but here it is completing the cube how what does this mean completing the cube the idea is when you look at this expression you have x cubed plus alpha 2 x uh, squared and you have to add something that this becomes a full cube but let's have a look what a full cube is this is a formula you can just derive this by multiplying out everything here it's x plus t remember from the quadratic equation I called the part that we added for completing the square just t and now this is also here the t, t cubed will give you x cubed plus 3 x squared t plus 3 x t squared plus t cubed this will give us um, the first idea for our steps we have to bring uh, both equations so this equation has to be similar to that because of that I multiply with 3 and divide with 3 and just write it as it is okay now here are coming a lot more steps so this is the part um, which was here also written now I'm completing because I need this part of 3x t squared plus the t cubed okay so I add 3 t squared bar where t is this multiplied with x plus t cubed but just adding into an equation is not allowed you have to subtract it again at the same moment so we subtract this uh, so, so they should actually give you 0 and this and this give you 0 and this is just appended so the alpha 1x plus alpha 0 is just appended from this. But now, let's have a look what happens. The first part is just the formula that we have written down here above. This means that this is x plus t cubed by t is alpha 2 over 3 minus this rubbish on the right hand side. Uh, let's look here. The, we are still not... Uh, ready with a, a reduction step what we have to do is actually we I, uh, I go uh, maybe I go back here 
you see I have here an X and here an X. I just added them together to get this. So it was alpha X minus 3 alpha blah 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 and some rubbish. You know what. Okay. Now just have a look at this. This is looking pretty good or not. Uh, what we are doing here is another thing that I have uh, teached you in my lectures. It's called the substitution. I look at these brackets here and I say why not switch this with an easier uh, element and call the Z. Z cubed plus this times X and X will just be substituted with Z minus alpha uh, 2 over 3. Now what do we get by doing this? So I've written it down. You get Z cube plus this uh, bracket multiplied Z minus alpha 2 over 3 plus this part which is just at the end of this. Now this shall be equal to this. So what actually what I did here was just multiply this out. You get this bracket multiplied with Z and then you multiply minus alpha 2 over 3 with this bracket and you should get this part, okay? Plus alpha 0 minus alpha 2 over 3 uh, cubed, okay? Now this is looking interesting because we only have Z cubed, Z and some uh, rubbish that will give you a constant term, okay? Actually this is pretty nice. Let's look what we can do with that. So well, what is actually nice about it is because in the starting point we had an equation which had x cubed, x squared, x and a constant term. Now we only have x cubed, x, uh, so to say x cubed and x and a constant part. So this is a very important thing. The steps that I did can be reproduced for any kind of polynomial that uh, you may encounter. This, this is a valid uh, transformation which allows you to bring a polynomial from the form. Uh, so what we actually did was we eliminated the z squared and you can always do this. You can you know, eliminate the second highest power by some kind of substitution or completing the nth power or something. Okay? Now, I use your sum weird stuff. Okay, let's uh, go easy on that. I said that minus 3p, the minus and the 3i are just chosen by me, so we get a very nice and good looking solution, is equal to this. So the, the coefficient of the z part will be called minus 2p, uh, 3p, sorry. And this rubbish on the right hand side is all alpha 2, blah, blah, blah. Uh, will be called minus 2q. You see me uh, repeating that all the time. It's it's very tedious and long to write this down and it's even <laughs> more tedious to, uh, to repeat it, okay? So we use these substitutions and look what happens, okay? We get a very good looking equation. 0 is equal to z cubed minus 3pz minus 2q. Actually, I do uh, one more step. I bring the 3pz here to the left hand side as well as this and then actually I do uh, and bring them to the left hand side and then switch the um, the equation because it doesn't matter if you look at from left to right or right to left so what we have now is actually uh, z cube is equal to 3 pz equals 2 q. So you may be wondering why I did this, but you will see because this is where the magic happens. Okay, and this mm, this method was found out by an Italian uh, mathematician called uh, Cardano. It said that he stole this idea by some from someone else and. Mm, brought it out as his own idea, but I don't know actually what it was. There was a big fuzz about this, not as big as Leibniz uh, versus Newton, but it was a big fuzz in that year. Okay? What he did was, okay, let's have a look at this equation. What happens if I say that the solution, this is a very magical part, 
and uh, maybe you will understand how, why, how or why he came to this idea when going through uh, the derivation. He just said that z equals u plus v is the solution. So you can add two parts uh, and you will get the solution. So what did he do next? He just cubed this, okay? He cubed this. What do we get? We cube this, we get u plus v. Do not forget forget the brackets cube. Now he just used the formula that we had before u cubed plus 3 u squared v plus 3 u v squared plus v cubed. Wow, that was quite a bit. Now what we do is um, I will do another step so this makes it more apparent what this is. If we have 3 u v times uh, u plus v. I just took these these two guys and I uh, factorized 3 u v out of them. So u was left from this u square and v from this v square. Okay? And I wrote down the other jumble to the right hand side u cubed plus v cubed. Okay, now we have z cubed is equal to 3 v z. Wow, because this one was actually here in the condition that z is equal to the sum of the both solutions. Okay, 3u vz plus u cubed v cubed. Wow, that is looking nice. Now, what can we do with that? Uh, I wrote down our initial equation and the equation that we got from the magical trick. And now you look here, you have z cubed on both left sides. Here you have 3 times p times z. Here in the second equation you have 3 times uv times z. So somehow, uh, if we could somehow make uv equal to p, this would be nice. And this 2 cubes uh, shall be equal to u cubed v cubed. Now let's look what happens. I wrote down both equations. We have p equals uv, 2q equals u cubed plus v cubed. Okay, now in the first equation I will solve for v, so we can replace this in this equation. V is equal to p over u, so I just divided with u, nothing special, nothing fancy. Now we will plug this v into this equation, and we get 2q equals u cubed plus p over u cubed. Okay, now what I did next, I just multiplied with u cubed to get a 2q u cubed because it would appear on the left hand side equals to u this multiplied with u cubed will give you u, u to the 6 power to the 6 plus p cubed because we multiplied with u cubed so it's not in the denominator anymore and now what I did was I just took this part and put it to the right hand side so we have 0 equals u to the 6 minus 2q uh, u cube plus p cube. Okay, very, very fancy stuff. And now here comes the solution. What do we do next? What do we do next is just we look at this equation. You see u to the 6 and you see u cube. What is this? This is actually. Um, um, quadratic and quadra uh, a quadratic equation which is hidden as an, another kind of polynomial. So we substitute, you remember that, we substitute with this part here, u is equal to u cubed, we substitute this in, so we get u to the 6 is just u uh, square, uh, y squared minus 2qy, because y is equal to u cubed, plus p cube. Okay, now what do we do next? This looks fancy stuff, but it actually is not. I'm just using the general formula for you solving quadratic equations. You should remember that it's minus b, our b is minus q, so I will hit plus q plus minus under the square root b squared, this is what is here, minus 4 times a times c. a is 1. C is P, P cube, and this is over 2 times 1 because our quadratic coefficient is 1. Now, what do we do next? Here in the 
root, you can see here is a 4, here is a 4. We can factorize this out. So we have, actually, this should be the square root of 4, but it will give you 2 finally. Okay? And now you see you have a fraction, and in that fraction you have here a 2, and here are 2, so they will both be divided with 2. So what we actually get is we get two solutions, which are q plus minus another square root q squared minus p q. Okay? Now, how do we get u, actually? Okay? How do we get u? u was uh, set to, u cubed was set to be y. That was our substitution that we had in here. So u cubed 1, 2, because we had two solutions, is equal to q plus minus under the square, square root q squared minus p cubed. Okay, what do we have to do now? We have to take the third root. Okay, this gives you this very, very fancy looking expression, but actually nothing happened. Okay, now here comes the nice part. We have uh, two solutions, and remember they were. I didn't tell you, but they are actually uh, symmetric because of the equations that we had. We had, I think, 2q was equal to u cubed plus v cubed, and 3p was actually, or, or only p was u times v, okay? u times v, but if you just interchange their rows, you will get the same uh, solutions. So actually, u is equal to v at the same time, but they should not be equal. So u is, for example, the plus solution, and v is, uh, so the second solution is v, it's the minus solution. So uh, if we use the um, our magical equation where z is equal to u plus v, we can enter this. z is the third squared root of q plus, another square root q squared minus p uh, to the third power plus, uh, square root, third square root of q minus um, the square root of q squared minus p q and that's actually it but now you sh you should have to resubstitute remember I had it in my um, the other slides you can use them to plug in here and you get your solution actually then you have to resubstitute here the z um, because x uh, was equal to z plus uh, alpha 2 over 3 I think yes this was it so just resubstitute it in the old equations I hope this was a nice video and I hope you like the, the new style with PowerPoint and me speaking into a speaker and hoping that you are very happy with that video right just keep tuned and like always, thank you for watching. If you still have questions, feel free and command and ask your questions. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Thank you, guys.